Hello Scorpios. This is your reading for the 15th through the 31st. This is a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Some cards flipped over here I'm looking at. Um, if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. And um, thank you for all my subscribers for returning and supporting me. If you guys like the video, please hit the like button, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm looking at these cards that flipped over. We have the Sun, the Magician, Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Hmm. There, there's something that you feel like would make you happy right now, but you're trying to navigate through your feelings so you can so you can say what's on your mind so you can do what it is that you need to do to you know fulfill this happiness okay so Leo Gemini Scorpio energy is definitely here and um, Aquarius energy I feel like there's a lot that you have learned um, how to behave how to navigate through certain things um, but you're, you're still like trying to, what is the word? Not perfect it, but hang on a second. My phone's on vibrate, but my Bluetooth is um, sitting on the table. So, goodness. Okay, but um, it's like you, you have this plan and you can see it, but it's hard for you to completely um, trust in it. So you're, you're like on the right path, but um, I think you're questioning yourself is what I'm getting here. Okay, so let's see what's going on around my Scorpios. What's going on around my Scorpios? Look at that. Exploring your feelings. Unsure about how you feel. Is it real? Is it significant? Hmm. Yeah, okay, it's crossing you is a four of wands. Is it real? Hmm, this relationship, a relationship, you're confused about it. Aries energy here. Scorpio and Aries, boy. Hmm, how does that work? Those two Mars energy. Hmm, but anyway, um, your happiness and stability. You guys see happiness with someone. I feel like you're talking yourself out of it though. Maybe this person really challenges you and um, in a good way, but can also be in a very explosive way, you know. Let's see. What's the underlying issue for Scorpios? Look at that. Love. What do you do? <laughs> what to do? What to do? You have a choice to make, my friends. There is definitely love here. There is something here that cannot be explained. Okay? You feel it. They feel it. You know it. Stop talking yourself out of this. Stop talking yourself out of it. Hmm. Oh, a recent past. Look at that. Three of Wands. Strong Aries energy here all around you. Either you were waiting on them or they were waiting on you. They've been waiting on you, I feel, to make a decision about what it is that you want. This person. I feel like at one point they were the magician trying to manifest something with you that did not happen. 
So now they're really not taking any movement, making any movement towards you because they feel like they've done all that they um, could do in a situation. They were waiting on you. I think you're here now. I still think you're questioning yourself though. What's in Scorpio's crowning thoughts? Oh, the King of Cups. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. I can definitely see that. Offering your love. Being supportive. Being in a relationship. Being married. Being committed. And being emotionally stable and fulfilled. Being somebody somebody's husband or wife ultimately mm. a lot of cards somebody walked away here the eight of cups just flipped over and about 10 more cards what's coming in for Scorpio page of swords somebody's coming in and speaking about their feelings about what they want with the other person whether that's you guys or whether that's your person. Now, when they come in, it's not going to be, oh, I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, want to be with you forever. It's going to start off, um, you know, very light, okay? Which is how I believe it should. Um, you definitely don't want to go in and overwhelm somebody or have them to overwhelm you. So, um, but definitely, I feel there there will be a conversation whether it starts off with a text message, if you guys haven't spoken, or um, you know just a phone call to say hey how you how are you you know that sort of thing to kind of break the ice. How Scorpio <clears throat> viewing this situation? You have something to say. Look at you. You have something to say. <laughs> yeah. You have something to say that will enlighten the other person at this point. Telling them how you feel. Telling them what you want. Telling them what you see for the both of you. What is the influence here for Scorpio? Five of Pentacles. I feel like you guys <clears throat> at this point um, regardless of what you go through, I feel like you want to go through it with this person. At one point in time, one or both of you felt rejected, hurt, left out. One or both of you. But at this point, I feel like <clears throat> regardless of what um, you guys go through, you want to go through it with this individual. And I feel like vice versa. This is going vice versa, okay? Because at one point, this person was waiting on you. And before that, they were the one, I feel, that was taking action towards you, trying to make something happen with you. And it was a no-go at one point. Hmm. Scorpio's hopes or fears. The Queen of Wands. You have strong Aries here. There, there's definitely an Aries for um, a lot of you. I feel Aries, Taurus, maybe a Cusper. But um, to have this again, your hope is to have this person again, male or female, to have them again. Hmm. You want this person back in your life. What's the overall outcome for Scorpio? Look at that. Brand new beginning. With the person that you feel like, okay, this is the person. They check off all the boxes for me. Growth. This is every queen. Every woman. Every man here. New beginning. Side by side. There we go. Beautiful. 
So, I think I've already told you guys the signs. And um, Aries is very strong for some of you. We also have um, maybe another Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus, Gemini, Libra here. Okay? So, that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.